Hi, Michael Kennedy here from Developmentor, and we're on to number four in my mini part series on Python for the C Sharp developer, where we take features of C Sharp that we really like and sort of explore Python by saying, does Python have this feature? What does it look like? And so on. So the topic today is for each and I enumerable. So let's just go look really quick over here in C Sharp. So this is Visual Studio, obviously, and we got a an array or yeah, an array of numbers here and we could use a for loop but we all know as dotnet developers that it's much easier to use a for each loop so i could say for each number in nums console write line num okay and that's just going to loop through these in order and if i run it you'll just see them running down the, the screen here perfect so what does python have in terms of this does it, do they have some sort of thing as like a for each loop in fact they do so let's switch over here, and this should look familiar. We have a list. Python doesn't have arrays. They only have lists, but they're defined like C-sharp arrays. And this is also an iterable collection, just like we have in uh, C-sharp. But Python doesn't have a for each keyword. In fact, they only have a for keyword because they don't have an indexed for concept. They literally only have a for each loop in the language plus a while loop, okay? So the syntax is a little simpler. We'll say num in numbers, in nums here. We'll say print, it's like the console write line, num. So here's the equivalent program of what we just uh, did in C Sharp. Here you see very similar output. And in fact, look how much cleaner and simpler the, the um, Python code is here. We've got you know a cleaner variable declaration, cleaner initialization, cleaner loops, just to show you, there's just more stuff on the screen and in the way. So uh, it's actually a very nice feature over here in um, in uh, Python. So that's the basics of anything that is I, I enumerable, of course, in .NET can be put into a for each loop. Anything that is iterable in Python can also be put into a for each loop. But this also includes our own type. So let's let's look at the shopping cart thing here. So I've got a shopping cart, and internally it has a list of items. So suppose I wanted to do something like this. Come down here and say console write line working with a shopping cart. Okay. And let's create a shopping cart. Cart equals one of these. Let's add some items. Okay. So what I'd like to do, I would like to be able to go over here and say for each thing in cart, I would say, uh, let's say this is the cart item, so let's be explicit, say cart item, item in cart, and then I'll just print out something like this, dot item dot name, item dot price. So you can see if you're paying attention that this is a little bit of a problem here. So if I try to run this, it's not even going to compile and it's going to say, no, 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 no. You have to implement get enumerator. So you have to implement I enumerable. All right, fine, let's go do that. So the C sharp way of things. So we're going to say I enumerable of cart item, and it's cool. Visual Studio will write this for us. So I can hit that Control Period Enter, and then it puts all this code here. So there's the older school style here. We're just going to delegate. We'll say get enumerator, uh, return get enumerator. There it is. And up here, I need to do something. Let's just say we can delegate down to our items. Oh, dot get enumerator. There we go. Okay, so if they call this one, it calls this, and then we just delegate onto here. So now I should be able to compile and run it. Here you can see I'm working with my shopping cart. CD is $7.99, and the book is $19.99. Excellent. All right, so look at what we did here. We wrote this code. We had to write all of this code, this huge long thing that goes off the screen, so that we would be able to write for each item and cart item. How do we do this in Python? Is it possible? Yes, it is. In fact, here I've got a class called shopping cart item and here's the cart items we're going to add into it and we've got a private variable uh, items which is a list and we're going to append to it just the same so let's try to do that let's go over here and say uh, print working with cart so I could try well first we've got to create a cart right so we'll say cart equals shopping cart like so we have to import that at the top so there you have it and we'll say cart.add so then I want to say for item in cart print and this one I kind of overrode what would be the equivalent of the two string so it should write something out there for us let's run this and it crashes and says oh we're working with cart oops 
and it says the object is not iterable. This is the same as the compiler error we saw when we said you have to implement I enumerable. Okay, well, let's go over and do that. Get rid of this tool window here. What do we need to do? Do we need to have a special interface at the top? No, Python uses duct typing. So this is super easy. We say def under under in iter. And here, just like in the .NET implementation, we're going to delegate to our list. So we'll say return self dot under under items dot under under iter. There you go. So this is kind of like the get enumerator. And now works just the same. But look how little code we had to write. How much nicer. This is the sum totality of what we had to do here. Over in .NET, there was quite a bit more. We had to do this. We had to do this. Well, yeah, because there's this older interface. We had to do this. So not only does Python also support um, for each style iteration, it does it quite elegantly. Now, both in .NET and Python, there's other ways to actually implement this directly without delegating to a base type, but let's save that for another time, all right? So hopefully you've, you've got a lot out of this. You now know how to do iteration in Python. You know that Python has four each, the equivalent of four each loops, and actually working with them is a little cleaner and a little nicer in a lot of ways. So I hope to see you next time, and I'll keep moving on in my series. Take care. Bye.